Hello Capricorn, it's me Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let us see what God Angels Universe has for you, Cappy. Ooh, child. I've been saying that all day today. Ooh, Lord, the Emperor and Judgment. Hooey. Okay, we may be talking about a relationship. Uh, Capricorn? <laughs> um, I, I'm hearing that a lot of you guys don't necessarily have a positive outlook. I'm also hearing that a lot of you guys, to an extent, I'm going to take that because it fell out. Um, I'm also hearing that a lot of you guys recently had to pull rank. It's like enough is enough. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, chow. Cards are falling in my lap. Ooh, look at, yeah, you had to pull rank. Um, and you had to reset the direction of whatever this situation is. Yeah, you had to put your foot down. Good for you, Capricorn. I know that's right. I know that's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A relationship. Okay. Four of Cups. Somebody is not revealing how they feel. Somebody's trying. Yeah, they're trying to block their emotions. And that's causing you stress, anxiety, and you're worried. Somebody's not opening up. They're in their heads. Um, and they got a lot of weight on their shoulders. And and Capricorn was like, enough of this shit. <laughs> right? You got the, the Emperor and the Strength card? Are you kidding me? Look at the, the signs that are sitting here. You got Aries, which is Mars. You got Aries and Scorpio, which is Mars and Pluto. And you got the Sun with Leo. I mean, that if that's not egotistical energy in a nutshell, I don't know what is. And with the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Wands is forward momentum, forward moving. What do we need to do? What do we need to talk about? What do we need to get rid of to get this thing back on the road? Angels are saying somebody needs to. I feel like you're dealing with somebody, again, who may be very closed off. And you're like, open up already. Like, open the floodgates already. Let me know how you feel. Like, But I, I will tell you, Capricorn with this emperor sitting here your person could be intimidated right they could be intimidated they could be scared they could be afraid of disappointing you this could be a child too like afraid of disappointing you afraid of letting you down afraid of you lecturing them afraid of you just coming down heavy on them so I feel like instead of this emperor's approach you need to take this softer, gentler, kinder approach with your person. Angels are saying, which I think this is the grossest saying in the world. You can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar, right? It's so gross because I'm like, why the hell would I want to catch flies? Anyway, um, um, even to kill them, it's like, oh, no, let them have peaceful deaths on their own away from me. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, I feel like you have to create a, an environment of peace and tranquility because I feel like somebody is afraid to approach you. Somebody's afraid to re release and relieve themselves around you. That sounds so sexual. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, there somebody is struggling and I feel like you're frustrated because you want to be there for them and you may keep saying to them, tell me, tell me, tell me. But they're not telling you, they're not opening up to you because, again, of your approach. So just change your approach, Capricorn, and change your delivery. Be softer, kinder, kinder. Show them your feminine energy, feminine side. I feel like, again, you'll have more um, progress. So you'll have, you know, you'll make more progress with that approach. Then again, that emperor, tell me what it is and we'll fix it and go on. No, mm -mm. that's my emperor voice. Um, Ten of Wands and... The hermit, yeah. This this to me almost feels like you feel like you're chasing them. I'm not going to keep coming after you. They're going to tell me or we're just going to be done with it. That makes them, you know, clam up even more, okay? So again, your approach, your delivery, Capricorn, is not working in this situation. Also, always remember, guys, the situation can be flipped, right? Somebody could be 
coming at you with the crappy delivery, which is causing you to pull back instead of open up. Lovers in the two of, two of swords, twos are couples, okay? So yeah, it kind of feels like this is somebody you're in love with, could be husband, wife, right? <clears throat> Soulmate, partner. And right now, it's almost like you guys may be bumping heads or you may be more on the mental plane than you are on the emotional plane. Here's the emotional plane right here. This is the mental plane, right? And it's almost like with these twos right here, yeah, they're, they've pulled back. They've shut down. And that stresses and worries you because now you're wondering how they feel and if this is something that will continue. Change your approach. Change your delivery. I, I, that's the answer, by the way. You guys are welcome to take the advice or not. It's okay. You have that free will, right? But that's how angels are seeing it. Because here you're wondering what happened. You know, we used to be in love. We used to be this. You just pulled back. This Ten of Wands is just speaking to me right now. Um, the person you're dealing with, Capricorn, could have a lot on their plates, right? And I feel like, yeah, they could talk to you. You could advise them on how to get rid of those Ten Wands. But there is emotion that's present here that's being blocked or cut off, okay? And I don't know if it's if it's your approach only. It could be fear. It could be a fear of them feeling like they failed. It could be anything. But somebody is holding on to something and it's stressing you and annoying the crap out of you. I could tell you that. It sure is. It's it's like the third party in this situation. Whatever this person is holding on to, it's blocking up your situation. And it's stressing you out. And not only that, but it's also leaving you to wonder, yeah, do you love me anymore? Do you still want to be with me? Do you still have it for me? But they're not talking. Oh, God. That is who, child. I'm being told to do this. Give them time. They're trying to figure out how to, how to, um, I feel like they need rest to recuperate. So just give them time, Capricorn. This is waiting, waiting for something to materialize and mature. Yeah, give them about four to seven days. Okay, give them about four to seven days. And I feel like within that four to seven days, they'll open up to you. Okay, but you got to be patient and you got to, you got to subdue that emperor energy, that wanting to know, that needing to know. Just give them space. Yeah, look at that. I can't make this up, guys. I'm not this intelligent. I am intelligent, but the universe runs circles around me. Emotions are running high. Who's all here? Again, Aries, Aries and Scorpio, Leo, Virgo, Gemini, Cancer. Yeah, emotions are running high. That makes sense. Because I know with Virgo here, Gemini, the Mercurians, and then Cancer, and then you got Scorpio as the other water sign. Um, yeah, it's almost like the emotions are submerged. They're running high. It's almost like a pot boiling with the top on it. That's how I feel. It's like they're running high, but they're being blocked. Ooh, child. Because mm -mm. that causes an eruption. As for you, Cap, the answers you need are coming. I can easily say to you, Capricorn, be patient, but I hate that word, right? I hate telling anybody to be patient, but it's sitting right there, <laughs> right? So I'll just let the cards say it, okay? Mm. Luck is on your side. You and your loved ones are safe. Luck is on your side. You and your loved ones are safe, says to me, it'll all work out. Just, just relax, okay? That authority, it's not working, okay? So you're going to have to use your heart, not your head and your might and your ego to help resolve this situation or to, to get this person to open up to you. Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, Cap. Bye.